Hello Marlon, I'm going to make this video to show you exactly how you can uh, reduce or add edge loops to your mesh in order to fit uh, two parts. For instance, I have here this character and if I select the head and select the border edges, I have 38 edges on the head side and on the body side I have 34 edges. So. I have two options now, I could add four edges over here or I could subtract and get rid of four edges from here. I'm gonna stick up with uh, deleting edges from here and instead of deleting four edges I'm just gonna try to delete edges like um, this one here and this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on this button, it's uh, delete selected edges and vertices, you can find it on the edit mesh. Delete edge slash vertex, I just made a shelf button on this. If you delete that, oh, second, I just deleted the wrong one, that's what I wanted to press. Okay, now this is gonna match uh, with those, but we got here an angle, how we could fix this, this we could. Okay, them together a little bit. Just a bit more. Fix them so that they still. Okay. I've got some reflection turned on. And now. We're gonna fix this later after it's connected, uh, merged. Gonna need to. Yeah, this one looks. That's right, sweet to do. So, get this too. Delete them. And now, we have 34 here and 34 here. So I'm gonna take this head, try to fit him, just like so, and now select both, go to mesh, combine, and as you see, we need here to tweak something, so I'm gonna take this edge, uh, the Reflection is not working properly. I'm gonna turn on soft select. Oops. And just road snap. Same down here. Okay. Now, after everything is set up. We can select all of our edges, go to Edit Mesh, Merge. Nothing happened. We need to go to the Polysue Edge and drag the tolerance to 1. Now everything is merged correctly. But here we need to go in. Oops. I merge this manually. As a G key. Same over here. As a G key. Okay. Now that that's been done, we need to look to for a way on how we can fix this issue here. So, we could use this blue poly tool. And now we got two triangles. We can connect like this. Uh, wait. Need to look. Snap and turn on. So wait for the snap, just to have it perfectly symmetrical. Wait for the snap. 
there it is. And over here, snap is enter. And then you could take this edge, <coughs> sorry, scale it down a bit to have the four the four sided faces look more shaped. And now we, here we have it. This is the way you could reduce your mesh. You could do the same over here. You see, this edge is not right at the topological center of our character. So we need to figure out, um, because it's, it's just a little bit easier, we could press this like so, and connect. Push this down a little bit. I mean, scale. And that's the way how we got our meshes matched. And you see here, to show this example, I just uh, deleted a whole edge loop. So to have the difference from uh, the body to the head. And here's a nice way how we can fix this issue where the edges are really spaced off in, in case of you really needing of you uh, deleting some edges you go to the sculpt geometry tool and use this option here which is the relax option I have reflection turned on and if I relax drag down the, the size of the brush and if I relax these edges it will create the average space between them it's gonna create nice and smooth edge flow and what's nice about this it's really trying to keep the overall shape it's just moving the edges along their normals to uh, to preserve this shape so you see I've, I've lost nothing instead of me going with the with the smooth if I would use the smooth See, it's, it's bulging in, and that's the, it's really nice about the relax brush. So I hope this helped you and explain what I mean by using edges which are near to the topological center, which is the symmetry axis. And I hope you can bring it to your project. Thanks for watching. Bye.